We turn to reflexive relations. The first order presentation of the theory of reflexive relations is the same as relations, but with the axiom that in the context of x, the pair xx is in the relation. Then we define the category of reflexive set relations as a category of models of the above theory in the category of sets. Recall that the category of reflexive graphs is the category of presheaves on the two object category with five non-identity morphisms such that IS and IT are the identity morphism on V and SI is equal to sigma and TI is equal to tau. The double negation topology gives us the following subobject of the subobject classifier. And similar to the case of relations, we have the category of reflexive relations is isomorphic to the category of separated reflexive graphs. And so we also have that the category of reflexive relations is a Grotendieck quasi-topos. Furthermore, we have the following result. There is a series of adjunctions, S, left adjoint to U, left adjoint to D, corresponding to the I extension, I restriction, and I coextension functors induced by the obvious inclusion functor I from G to RG. For the proof, we have that the forgetful functor is equivalent to the I restriction functor since it forgets the distinguished loops in the reflexive graph. Thus, if a left or right adjoint exists, then it must correspond to the I extension and I coextension functors with restricted domain and codomain. So we define S on objects by taking XR to XR union the diagonal on X, where the diagonal on X is the set of reflexive pairs of X. And we define D by taking XR to X prime R restricted to the binary product of X prime, where X prime is the set of X in X such that the pair XX is in R. It is straightforward to verify the triangle identities. Then as a corollary, we have the category of reflexive relations is a reflective and co-reflective subcategory of the category of relations.